Let's begin. Click, click, click. Hello everyone and welcome to BHC Studios. As you can tell by the layout here, this video is going to be about camera straps. Now I, I love camera straps. I love straps. I, I play guitar. I love guitar straps. I love watch straps. It's actually a really nice Wotencraft leather and canvas strap. And as well, here is a cheap needle strap on my 1011.9. Um, they are functional and yet they're also fashionable. And I don't really review straps because I think a lot of it's personal taste, how long, how short, the type of materials that you use, the type of connection system you have. But uh, these are the ones, some of the straps that have been sent over the years. And I have my favorites, but one of my favorite brands, Woten Craft, which you guys know I've been reviewing their camera bags for a while, uh, they have just announced that they'll be starting to sell their own line of straps. And I'm super excited because they make watch straps and they make beautiful camera bags. And so making camera straps makes a lot of sense. And so before we do the unboxing and showcasing the straps that they have sent me, um, I'm gonna show you the straps that I currently have on all my review cameras, not all, some of the review cameras that I'm using right now. And so right here is the Leica M10R on loan from Camera West and from Leica Store San Francisco. And this is a coupe rope strap, which I actually picked up in Austria, just outside of Salzburg with beers and cameras. And I wasn't a fan, I mean, I loved rope straps and then I kind of fell in, out of love with them and then kind of recently got back into them because of Coop. And so this is uh, their rope strap here. And here on my Leica M7, I have another Coop rope strap in a different, I think this, they call this like the orange line or something, the orange spritz line. And so they have one more colorway, just nice colors. And I like the thickness of it with cameras that are a little bit heavier. So let's just put this down here. Here is the Leica M11. And uh, right here I have one of my, another one of my favorite and totally different than the rope straps. This is the uh, camera film photo and Kuda. Uh, Japanese silk strap, so you can see it says, enjoy film, camera film photo. Uh, beautiful, nice lightweight, but very strong. And uh, yeah, very fashionable. I love the kind of punchy colors that uh, camera film photo comes out with. Here is the Fujifilm X-T5 with the 3514, and this is another uh, camera film photo, Kuda Japanese silk strap in this kind of, I don't know what you call it, it's like a really cool blue color. And so, and again, the, this is an orchestrate. This is me reviewing these cameras, and these are the actual straps that I currently have on these cameras. And here is the X-H2S. And this is a Clever Supply leather strap. This actually was very like natural, uh, just almost like a beige, but over time it just naturally darkens. I, I love, um, actually, uh, Clever Supply, Todd, um, he was the first one to convince me to at least give these, uh, um, these anchor, uh, Peak Design anchor system a try. At first, I'm like, ah, they just don't look so great. But on these slotted type lugs here, it's nice to go straight along. I guess I don't like um, the slotted type lugs anyways. I like the eyelets. But when you do have these slotted ones, I think these type of straps makes a lot of sense. So these are all the cameras that I'm currently shooting with. And these are all the straps that I currently have on all my cameras. But today we'll be doing an unboxing right here, just to show you. I haven't even opened this box yet. An unboxing from Woten Craft of their new line of camera straps. So let's just uh, clear this out first and then we will, uh, yeah, start the unboxing. All right, and here is the box. And uh, this knife actually was sent to me from the fine folks of BMKT Knives in uh, Pilot Butte, Saskatchewan, just outside of Regina. And beautiful, beautiful uh, micarta handle. And uh, this is gonna just patina nicely with my, my natural oils here. So thank you so much uh, for sending this out to me. And let's start the unboxing here. And uh, really excited. I just, I, I've only seen the straps in photos and I am just curious to see how everything's gonna look like in here. So let's just, of the way. One thing I really, really like about Wotencraft is they package things really nicely. Oh, they got they threw in extra stuff too. Okay, so this is non-camera strap related, but kind of camera related. Let's just, sorry here guys. 
Um, okay, we've got lots of stuff here. Um, this is gonna be a watch strap, and that will kind of work with what we're gonna be doing here, because they also make watch straps, and I think it's cool that they're making watch straps, camera straps, and camera bags. So anyway, so I'll move these things out of the way. And let's just, sorry guys, I didn't mean to be wasting time here, but because you know, you guys have noticed, I, I wear, I tend to wear two watches in my videos. I actually do wear two watches, partially a fashion statement, but also when I travel, I usually have, you know, like, uh, sorry, home time on my right wrist and then wherever I'm going on my left wrist. Pilots used to do that quite often back in the past. And it comes in a nice little pouch here. And so this is uh, one of their, oh, need my knife here again. Uh, this is going to match one of the camera straps. And so I'm going to show you that a little bit later. This is a NATO strap and sort of that, that camo finish that they have. And so this is going to look great probably on this watch here on my 1011 9. And there's going to be a, a watch, a camera strap with the same uh, finish. So I'm going to just put this aside. All right. So now these, all these here should be all camera straps. So I'm going to maybe just take them out. And so here's a, here's a nice little wrist strap here. Nice finish on it, and it does use the split rings, and these are actually from Kuda, the brand uh, that I, you know, the, 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 the Kuda camera film photo Japanese silk straps always come with the nickel plated, high polished brass rings. Well, for all of Woten Crafts um, split rings, they also use this uh, kind of name brand split ring right here, high polished brass. And so that's fantastic, hand stitched as well. And let's just open up another one here. Oh, look at this. It's a nice finish here. You can sort of see that pebble finish. And this is a full, uh, whole cut leather uh, vegetable tan. And so it's uh, very environmental and there's no chemicals on here. And this is using the Peak Design anchor system here. And you can see here, not many brands do this because this takes up extra leather and you can't just cut them in strips, right? By doing this, they're gonna have to like match not only, because this is a full grain leather, you can sort of see that more of a suede on the inside, but this is a full grain thick leather here. And this is um, a whole cut leather as well. So that's great. So let's just put that aside here. All right, next strap is another wrist strap and again using the peak design and this is more of a sort of a darker finish and i like that little cut they put in here so it makes it a little bit tight it's not just loose cool cool concept all right so we've got another wrist strap and another whole cut leather design but it looks a little bit yeah see it's thinner it's thinner than this one here which is really cool so maybe a little bit lighter cameras me like an x100 but still it's a full thickness on the edge here and i like the finish on this too it's a little bit darker and each one of these you know based on your own sort of body chemistry and your perspiration i guess you can say and sort of like the oils in your hands it will patina in different ways based on your body composition another one here this is just of a thin all the way through and it's using split rings here all right but still has that kind of that pebbly finish which is nice and this is thin all the way through all right keep on going oh this is what I've been waiting for this is a uh, whole cut leather it's like a Halloween type leather nice and thick and if you kind of like you know squeeze it like this you can sort of see it kind of changes the the tanning changes a little bit again vegetable tan and look at that finish there and as I mentioned this will match this leather strap. But something, I mean, who cares about matching their watch wrist strap to their camera strap? Well, I care. And so if I can even have, actually I do have camo socks as well. All right, so I'm gonna put these on a little bit later, but I think this is the one I've been looking for. And this is uh, using the Peak Design. And we'll talk a little bit about why you would want a split ring versus the Peak Design, the quick release anchor straps. And let's keep going here. All right, so this is another one. So I did ask, out of all these straps, uh, this is the only thing I asked for because I really did want this camo, is that I wanted one with the, the split rings here, another one with the peak design. So here we go. And I do like that this is thicker, but it might not work on certain cameras. Fujifilm's eyelet lugs are really small 
and it's really tight. So on a Leica or maybe some older film cameras, this would work out really nice. Maybe if a Fuji film would be a little bit tight. We'll find out in a second. And then here is the anchor, the anchor system. It looks like because this is the anchor, there's a certain thickness they had to go. This is a little bit thinner as you can tell here, right? See that? So they're not exactly the same, but you know, I like it. The character is a little bit different. All right, so I'm really excited about those two and I think those will break in really nicely. All right, oh, nice black one here. Look at this. I would have liked it and I think they would do it. I would have liked this if this actually had a red stitch. And I think this would look great on a Leica or any camera with like red accents. But this still looks great. I like that pebble finish on here and the hand stitching. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, so same finish, but it is, but it's a much softer. It's a nice, this pebble leather here, you can see that suede on the inside, full grain, but also it is whole cut leather. And this one is using, here we go. It's using the anchor style here. All right, and then now there's one lash. This is a lot of straps here, guys. Oh, this is really nice. Look at this, it's green. Could you see that? Green is actually my favorite color and it is using the split rings and a nice thick backing here as well as it kind of protects the strap a little bit when you have this this thicker style here so this is nice and so here we go here are all the the straps i'm gonna have links all down below okay so let's go over some of the features here so one of the things the Wotan craft talks about is their whole cut leather design i'll put some inserts in but again having this little bevel here instead of it being stitched separately so some brands will have it thick here and then it's cut and at that cut what they'll do is then they'll restitch a thinner one which isn't bad but there's a bit of a kind of a prestige i guess that it's just one whole piece of of high quality vegetable tan leather and as I mentioned, you have choice of either split ring or the Peak Design anchor system. And as well, all the edges, these all hand burnished, uh, rounded edges. So someone has to take, a, I think it's like a little wooden sort of a thing and they just basically rub it to make sure that there's no, sh I mean, you can't get really sharp, sharp edges, but it's just hand finished here. And you know, that takes time to do. So that feels nice and comfortable even when it's around your neck. As well as all the stitching here, it's a uh, double needle saddle stitching with a uh, wax linen string. And so that will keep this nice and waterproof and keep it nice and strong and it won't fray as much because of that waxing. But this is really nice hand stitched product. You know, sort of like this watch strap I won't craft. This all sort of all done by hand, handcrafted. So, you know, it takes time and it takes money to make watch straps as well as camera straps in this kind of quality. Now, in terms of length, Wotan Craft says the either 100 centimeters or 125. They recommend the 100 centimeters, but that comes down to your own personal style. I mean, I know some people that like it even shorter than 100 centimeters. I would just check what length of strap you already have and what length you prefer, and then just pick accordingly uh, based on the type of strap system you want to get. And uh, according to their um, Instagram account, I haven't yet confirmed with them directly at the time of this filming, but they did mention on Instagram that they are doing custom embossing. So I guess they'll put your initials along here. Now, I don't know if that's something that we'll do continually or is if it just for the special launch but uh, it's kind of cool to have your initials on your straps and maybe it'll make a nice gift for someone right that's kind of a cool feature as well in terms of pricing i'll leave all the pricing down below as well as all the uh, affiliate links um I, the pricing is reasonable for this kind of quality this, this kind of build uh Wotan craft is a taiwanese company these are all handmade in taiwan they use top quality materials even in their camera bags and so i'm confident that these i mean i could already tell just by the feel of it these are these are really well made straps they will last I mean if you're buying a digital camera these will last probably longer than your digital cameras and so let's uh, stick some of these straps on some of my cameras and uh, we'll take a look at them all right the first camera that has the strap on is my X Pro 3 one of my favorite uh, everyday cameras that I love shooting with when I'm out and about on my days off. Yeah, so here we go. This is the camo split ring. It was a little bit tight getting this on um, because again, as I said, this backing here is rigid. So you have to kind of work the leather. This is a nice thick leather. And so it wasn't easy putting it on, but this is the kind of thing that the average person doesn't take on and off very often. I'm 
kind of nerdy that way, I will take my straps on and off. And especially now because I'm sort of testing these out to see which one I'll like best, um, I, ha I will have to take this on and off. So it's gonna be a bit of a pain. And as I mentioned, this is the longer ones. I think this is 125. And so this would be a nice cross body for someone of shorter stature. Although, you know, I know a lot of tall people that like the shorter straps, like right up, like right by their chest. But this is what this one here looks like on the X Pro 3. All right, so now we have the Fujifilm X-H2S. And because it has that slotted lug there, uh, you could just use these um, Peak Design uh, anchors and just slip them through. But if you have the eyelet style, you will need rings, which doesn't look like uh, they're provided. So you need your own rings. Um, as I mentioned before, I prefer these Kuda split rings. They're nickel plated on brass. And so uh, they're softer than your stainless steel. So if you're gonna wear anything out, you're gonna wear out your rings and not your actual lugs. And so you gotta buy these separately if you're getting this uh, anchor style. But if you are getting the split rings, they come automatically. So here we go, they just lock in like that. The other side here, you just lock in like this and there you have it right here. Very utilitarian. Some wonder, well, you know, why why would I want this style? Well, a camera like this, the X-H2S, this spends half the time on a tripod and on a tripod, having a strap is not so great. And so to be able to just quickly take these on and off is great. And as well, even if you're throwing into a camera bag, not having to deal with the strap uh, hanging around. And another thing you can do quickly is with this style, you can actually go and quickly add a wrist strap. You can go quickly from wrist to neck. And uh, yeah, it's a very modular system here. Ooh la la, Leica M10R in silver with the retro photo reading brass shutter release. And uh, yeah, I think this will look good what do you guys think? I'm gonna, I think this might look good with the camera. I mean, imagine having one of the reporter editions or safari edition Leica and you're getting this camel leather strap. All right, so this one here, actually, you know what? Let me just put some rings on here. So here we go. These ones, I already put the rings on. These are actually, you know, these are the Kuda rings and I'm gonna attach them on. All right, so here we go. We got the rings, we got the split ring, and now we have the anchor. All right, there we go. There we go. And here is the strap. What do you guys think? Camo with the silver, what do you guys think? I think this looks pretty sweet. All right, let's move on to the next camera. All right, here is my film Leica M7, still with the retro photo brass shutter. And I think this one here, I'm gonna go with this kind of this, I guess it's kind of an olive kind of a green. So let's just get this one on. And this uses a split ring. So this will fit on really nicely, especially because the, the lugs on the Leicas are definitely bigger. Again, you gotta bend that leather a little bit here. All right, I've got that on there. Spin that on. All right, so there you go there. You need some serious nails to do this. Sort of bend that little backing there. All right, if you bite your nails, then this will be almost impossible to do. All right, and there you go. There's that there. Again, you can see that bend that I put in there. And over time, this will just soften up. But you see how on this camera here, uh, some Leicas will actually have some ridging over here. And when the strap is always rubbing against here, see how this kind of protects the back as well as it protects the camera. And then this is nice and thick and hand stitched. So there you go, right there. So this is that sort of that olive green. It's maybe hard to tell, but olive green here on my Leica M7. What do you guys think? I think this, this, this color leather on this silver, I think it just has a vintage vibe. What do you guys think? Fantastic. And this is nice and soft. It, it feels sort of, sort of pre-softened compared to the, to the camel leather but this still looks great. And this one here actually with the contrasting uh, uh, linen stitching, this actually looks really nice. I actually think it matches the strap and the camera really nicely. All right, let's move on. All right, finally, in. So here, and this feels shorter. This feels like a 100 cm strap, nice and stealth, black M11, black slash maybe dark blue. I can't, I can't tell, but uh, this matches really nicely. Let's keep on going. It's not easy working with a black backdrop. All right, so now we got, we've got these left here. 
One is actually split ring, so that's kind of cool. Maybe, um, how about this baby? X70. Fujifilm? We need another, we need an X80. Come on, guys. Look at this camera. Look how cool this camera is. And so this camera here, I know a lot of guys do shoot with a wrist strap. So uh, I think maybe this one here with the split ring. Look at that. And again, you have to kind of break that backing to make it nice and soft. All right, my 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 bleeding <laughs> my my bleeding nails here let's just try to get it in spin that on all right now it's on here so you know it, there is also a style of like do you want to put it face up i think for wrist straps it's better to face it downwards but i just did it this way because i wasn't thinking and you know this is a, a darker brown but this will definitely darken up and as i mentioned here see that little cut they put in there so they make this a little bit smaller than it should be but they put that little slot there so it creates a little bit of friction so it's nice and tight you know it's not overly loose and it feels like yeah it's actually a little bit beveled here as well so it's a little bit narrower and it thickens up here so it gets tighter as you get close to the end so that's really smart so when you're out and about shooting just put it on like this on your wrist and then here you go here's the wrist strap and here's the camera all right, so what do you guys think? I think this looks pretty sweet as well. Here's two more here, and uh, let's uh, bring all the other cameras back, and then we'll we'll lay it down on this uh, on this table here. All right, I don't, I don't think I can fit them all on here without it uh, just looking like a hot mess. And so there's there's all the straps, there's all the cameras. I'm gonna actually just let me just reorganize this again. All right, so here are the just a, a sample set of what I just put on. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I am going to change this out here. So this is a, if those of you who don't know what a NATO strap is, this is actually the one of the, the safest ways of having a watch attached because uh, the way NATO strap works is it does use, it'd be better if it had fixed, fixed pins, but these aren't fixed. But you know, if one pin goes, this is still attached to your wrist, right? Where on a regular watch strap, if one of the pins go, your, your, your watch slips off your wrist. If that makes sense. So imagine this pin here goes, right? Well, this is still strapped around your, this is still strapped. So what happens is this, this is dangling off your wrist, but at least it doesn't fall into the water or drop to the ground. And so, and also it makes it really quick to swap out your straps. So here is my 1011 9, uh, beautiful German made. I just got the, uh, the second hand swapped out. Right, look at that, what do you guys think? I think for this type of watch here, and let's just put this on my wrist. So here you go. Check it out, NATO strap, and it will match. Look at that, it's gonna match my camera strap here as well. So between, uh, so I would say this this pattern is probably my favorite. And over time, this will soften up and it'll patina. And I do love how it does taper like this. And it's all just a single piece of leather. Also this pebbly style, this is in that kind of that olive color, much softer, it feels pre-broken in. Uh, I'll leave all my links down below, my affiliate links for these. I'm really happy that Wotencraft has started making uh, leather straps. I mean, they're great working with leather. So thank you so much, Wotencraft, for sending these out. I'm going to be taking tons of photos, testing these out, and letting you know uh, in a couple of weeks what I think about them. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask them down below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. And as I mentioned before, they are doing custom embossing on these straps. I don't know if it's just as a limited time offer or if it's something that we're always offering. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and happy shooting.